It's important to, while you're drying, to also rub kind of vigorously because that stimulates them breathing and everything. Graduate medical education refers to anything that happens after medical school. So for example, when you're a fourth year medical student, that's when they decide what specialty they want to go into, be it pediatrics or family medicine or surgery. They then will apply for a residency program in their core specialty, internal medicine, peds, family medicine, surgery, for example. And then if they want to further subspecialize, they'll apply for a fellowship. It's really important because you want a physician who is at the top of their specialty, who has been well-trained, under good supervision, who's up to date with the latest evidence and research, and really has a chance to hone their skills. And that's what graduate medical education is. While the baby is sucking. Hi, I'm Dr. Lee Buenkensehulam. I'm the director of graduate medical education here at the John A. Burns School of Medicine. Okay, great. So today, we're going to teach you folks, get you ready for your peds rotation. At the John A. Burns School of Medicine, we support 19 graduate medical education programs. And for reference, there's actually over 70 different types of specialties. So because Hawaii is small, we don't have the capacity or the patience to support everything. But we do support things like our primary care programs and family medicine, internal medicine, pediatrics, OBGYN. Our newest one is actually addiction medicine because this is a very high need area for our population here in Hawaii and we want to train physicians to be able to treat that population. Listening to the baby is also really important so you can get your stethoscopes on. The training program really includes a variety of methods and so certainly the bulk of the training is clinical so at the patient's bedside but for certain areas and procedures and other things we want them to actually practice in a safe environment so that's where training with simulation and mannequins come in. Another part of GME training though is actual classroom academic you know lectures and case presentations and whatnot that's really important. So how would you approach? So as part of graduate medical education, we know that we have a workforce shortage really throughout the state and especially in our rural neighbor islands. And so there's several strategies to help alleviate that shortage. One is to actually increase training sites in the neighbor islands. And so we do have our family medicine residency program do a portion of their training on the neighbor islands. Our OBGYN residents just started in Hilo. And we know that when you have those training experiences, they're more likely to fall in love with the neighbor island communities, really get involved and be more likely to stay. If we can train them here for medical school and train them here for residency, then we actually have about an 80 percent success rate of keeping them in Hawaii. And so that's really important. Again, homegrown, who's going to be most familiar with our community. And to be a physician, there's so many pressures and challenges. You really have to have an aloha for the community and for the people that you serve. And so who better than our students? Brought to you by University Health Partners of Hawaii and the John A. Burns School of Medicine.